right, so this is what I call my DC box. And basically just because all the wiring in here and the current is all DC. So what I have is coming in 24 volts coming in here and then this 12 volt line here goes to my RV. Basically it comes down around and connects right there to my RV. Then I did an auxiliary line and run it to the back of the RV. Just so I put some 12 volt lighting in the back for entertainment if I wish. So on this here's what I got. I got 24 volts coming in here's what I got. I got 24 volts coming in. The 24 volts then is going to this converter. This is a 24 to 12 volt DC converter. Now this DC converter is coming over here to this distribution box on the negative and then I have the wire going down down to the uh, um, the RV. So the RV positive though goes up to this switch. So this guy here, that white is the actual red of this 12 volt converter. So it's coming out here and going into the what they call a common on this switch. Now what this switch is, is this is an isolator switch. You can see it says one on the left. This is one right there, one and two and two. And up above it says off. So right now I don't have it pointing to any any source or to any load really. If I put it to one, it goes to my RV. If I put it to two, it's going to go to these three outlets. Those three outlets are going to be hooked up to this distribution on this bus bar and this bus bar down here. And the one two so that's what that one there is. Now I know this doesn't make a lot of sense on the wiring, but that's what it said on the back on the uh, on the post on the on the other side to put the common one here. This one here goes to what would be battery two, and that one goes to battery one because it's a battery isolator switch. So I'm basically using it in reverse. So I've got the power coming in, and then we're sending it out from there. So, now the reason why I have these three here is because these three here are going to go into the enclosed deck that I'm going to build as well as provide lighting for my barn because I'm going to use 12 volt lighting and, and so that will provide that lighting there for me. This white cord here, this is going to be part of the inverter's remote. So it's going to go through one of these holes and basically right about here when I close this deck I'll have my inverter so I can see what my batteries are doing and everything. So, but that's just my distribution box. Um, I like working with these bus bars now. They are pretty convenient because see like I have labeled up here A, B, C, A, B, C. So when I go to hook up my red ones that would just come out that way so I just happen to have it all switched off right now just because I'm testing the AC only to my RV so I'm just testing it right now but I've had it on the RV one and it works perfect so on my batteries here my batteries are set up at 24 volts and I have a line coming right here that goes up to this bus bar one there and one there, the black and the red and then the two lines going through this hole here which goes out to the RV that I just showed you and it's that simple, that's how I got my RV wired up these other lines here were going to my shed here but uh, and I'll show you that some other time. That's how I got my power lined up to my RV. Jeff, Arizona Hot Homestead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and catch all my other solar videos on my playlist. See you next video.